Hi, I'm Joe Pelly, and uh, this here is my dog, Daisy. And uh, unfortunate that I can't be with her in person right now, but I am currently two and a half hours away from home at school here, and we don't have any pets in or around our house, and uh, college friends don't have pets either. So, um, so yeah, this is how I'm going to do it. Um, yeah, not ideal, but um, anyway, yeah, Daisy, hopefully you can see here is um she is about uh I'd say eight years old now we got her in um, November of 2013 and at that point she was about two to three months old and um so yeah she's eight years old and we have not done a DNA test on her but we know that she is a mutt of some sort um and we have we're about 90 95 percent sure that she is half yellow lab and half Japanese Akita. And there's a few different reasons that we believe that. Um, first of all, as you can tell by the ears, um, they kind of go straight up, not exactly like a husky, but kind of like a snow dog of that sort. Um, and they, they don't go straight up and stand all the way up like this. They kind of flop over a little bit like this. And when she was a puppy, they went over even more like that. Um, you can also tell if I have another picture that you can kind of tell by her tail right here, it does curl up a little bit, not quite like a husky or anything, but a little bit more like a snow dog. Um, so that's kind of where she gets the Akita. Also a little bit of the coloration is similar to, um, but she has some lab tendencies too, like her body's a bit more like a lab. Um, and she also has some of her, uh, tendencies you might say and peculiarities are kind of um, Japanese Akita like um, and some of those like I talked about like with the ears how they were a little bit different when she was younger they were straight over I don't have unfortunately I don't have a picture when she was a puppy but um, yeah so her ears would flop over and they kind of stand up a little straighter now um, but she also has some tendencies such as the way she sits on things so I I wish I had a picture of when she sits, but um, there's an, actually an ottoman behind her that's in our living room. And uh, she likes to just like basically sit her butt right on that and still stay standing with her front feet. Um, that's something that we've never seen before in a dog. And we've had four or five dogs in our family before, um, all of different breeds, usually mutts, um, but that's something odd that we found. Um, but yeah, in terms of personality wise, she's also, um, she's very direct, you might say. Um, she loves eye contact. She can like win a staring contest with pretty much anybody, um, but she can be a little bit standoffish at times and um, kind of, you might say independent. And she's not a big cuddle dog necessarily, um, but nice nonetheless, she doesn't bite or anything like that. Um, she does like to play, get excited about stuff. We had a, um, a rope. Um, we bought plenty of ropes for her over the years and she, um, she likes to basically tear them apart. She'll do tug of war and all that kind of stuff. Not a big fetch dog, but she'll do it a couple times, um, in a row and then she'll be tired of that. But, um, yeah, I mean, she's, uh, definitely a different type of personality than a lot of the dogs we've had in the past. I know we've had um, mixes with like Dobermans, uh, Labs, Border Collies, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, she is a little bit different in that way. But um, yeah, one other thing I should notice that you could notice with a closer up picture here is that her nose, as you can see, like right under her nose where her mouth is, like her skin is black and like under her uh, like light fur coat is her skin is also black under there too. But we also noticed that when she was a puppy and when we got her, her nose was all black too. But then as she grew and turned into an adult, as you can see a little bit there that um, her nose started to turn pink and it's, her nose is almost entirely pink now. Um, so that's something I guess we kind of noticed um, that we weren't exactly sure why, but maybe it has something to do with her breed and how they grow. But um, in terms of training, um, we haven't trained her a whole lot, just the basic stuff, you know, sit, lay down, come, stay, all that type of stuff. Um, so she can do all that. Uh, but what we feed her 
Um, obviously, we started with puppy food, um, dry food. We've always fed her dry food. And that, um, we've always bought Kirkland brand from Costco. So the food we feed her now is Kirkland's super premium dry food for adult dogs, obviously larger dogs. She's about 70 to 75 pounds. And um, it is the lamb, rice, and vegetable formula as opposed to other ones that are chicken or whatever. But um, yeah, but in terms of how healthy she's been over the course of her life, she's been incredibly healthy. Um, as, like I said, she's eight years old. She's never had any major health problems or um, she's never been overweight, underweight, anything like that. Always been very strong, very energetic. Um, and she still hasn't really slowed down much. I mean, she's maybe gotten a little uh, less energetic over the years. Um, but other than that, yeah, she's been very healthy. She goes on walks pretty much every day, um, anywhere from probably a half mile to a mile. Um, but yeah, um, I have another picture here just to show she's my dog or not somebody else's dog. But um, this picture from a while ago, probably five years or so, but um, yeah, anyway, so that's, that's my dog. That is Daisy. So yeah, unfortunate that I couldn't be, or that she couldn't be here with me, but um, yeah, unfortunately, that's just how I have to do it, I guess. So.